Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal. Today we're going to take a look at your workbench. When you log into the portal, if you come to the eFiling map, if you have set that as your preference to be the landing page when you log into the portal, what you will see in the upper right hand corner are your quick links and there is a link to the workbench. If you click on that link, it takes you to your workbench, which has submissions that you have begun, but you have not filed. This is also available under your filing options menu. So either place will take you to the same workbench. Your workbench submissions will remain on the workbench for five days from the date you last updated this submission. The case number gives you the number of the case that you are submitting a document or documents to. Your case detail is the style of the case. And as you can see, this works for both appellate court cases and for the trial court. To resume submission of either one of these two submissions that we began earlier, you would simply click on this resume submission link. If you decide you want to delete this submission, you can go ahead and click the red X. This gives you the date it was last updated. So this submission will remain on my workbench for five days from this date it was last updated. Those do not have to be business days. It is five days from the date you last touched it. So when you're ready to get to this submission to finish it up, you would simply click on this resume submission link and this will take you back into the portal so that you can verify the information. This is the case we were filing to. If we move over to the documents tab, this is the document that we had uploaded. Now, if you would like to add another document to this, you simply click on the add button, select the document title, browse out, find your document, click on open, and then click on save. This will add this second document to our submission. We already had added the first document and it still is there, so we do not need to add this again. We simply add any remaining documents to this submission that we would like to go ahead and file. Once this has uploaded, this indicator bar will be replaced by the size of your document and you will also see the number of pages that your document is. So be patient, wait for that to completely disappear and the other information to show. Then you're ready to move on to the next page. Click on Next and it will take us to our service list page. And here we can add our service list recipients. You can serve all. You can add other service list recipients. You can add other attorneys and interested parties from the Search Active eFiling Portal Users screen or the Search Florida Bar. Or you can go ahead and type in anyone you need to add. Another way is to add from your eService favorites. So if you have created a list of e-service favorites, you can add people by clicking on your e-service favorites list and then making the appropriate selection. So we'll go ahead and add a couple people to this service list. And now our service list has been updated with all those we wish to serve. Click on Next and it takes you to your Review and Submit page. You can also save this to your workbench if you choose to do so and finish it later. For this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and submit this right now. 
It takes you to your Review and Submit page. You can go ahead and take a look at all of the different tabs. Here's your Service List tab. Here's your Case Filing Path information. The documents you added with a link back to the documents if you would like to check them. If there was any fee, this would be found in this section. And it also gives you the opportunity to mark this as a time sensitive document. And if it is, you would have to provide a critical date. Also allows you to declare this as an emergency filing. Yes or no. If you choose yes, you must designate why this is an emergency filing. If you're ready to submit, go ahead and confirm and submit all now. And that will submit the two documents that you have in this submission. It was placed on your workbench until you were ready to file it. You resumed filing that submission, added another document, selected your e-service list, and then you're ready to send it off. Once the portal has received your information, you will land at the Filing Received Confirmation page. This just confirms that you have submitted your submission to the advisory opinion of the Attorney General in the Supreme Court case. It's been received by the Supreme Court and the date and time it was sent. It'll also appear on your My Submissions page. So you will see here that it is in the validated filing status and you'll also see that you have link to the case information for this case. It will open up your docket sheet in a new screen. By clicking on this link, it takes you out to the Florida Supreme Court and it gives you access to that docket sheet for that case and the documents therein, if they have any. It'll also appear on your My Cases page so that you'll have access to this case and to the court docket for this case and the documents therein for the Supreme Court and the DCAs. Once service has been provided, you will have a, there will be a NEF link or icon right here that shows you that service has been provided and those on the e-service recipient list will receive their notification of electronic filing. So back to the workbench, we have one remaining submission. But to show you how you add a submission to the workbench, let's go to My Submissions. We will click on a new case that we would like to send a filing to. Click on File Now. Select your division. Type in your case number. Click on Search. And down at the bottom of the page, each page, your case information, your case parties, your documents page, you will see a Save to Workbench icon. We'll jump to the Documents page and then we'll click on Save to Workbench. And now you can see that this submission that we just started is also saved to the Workbench. And we can quickly resume this by clicking on the Resume Submission icon. We can delete it if we wish not to submit it. But do remember, they will only remain on the Workbench for five days. Thank you.